Hi guys, it's Katie, and today I have another book haul and unboxing, because I did some book shopping. This is more of a collective book haul. I didn't buy all this stuff at the same time, so we're just going to hop right in. First, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys some stuff that I bought online at Book Outlet. Um, I got this in the mail a while ago. I didn't open it on camera because it just came way later than all my other packages. So I'm going to show you guys the first book that I bought. All these books were like super duper cheap. That's why I bought them. So I ended up getting Of Poseidon by Anna Banks. I've been wanting to read this book for a while. It's a mermaid book. Everyone's been talking about this, saying how good it is. And I got this book for pretty cheap. Um... And it's a hardcover, so you know, bonus points. Mind Games by Kirsten White. I've heard, actually, I haven't heard much about this book, but it sounds really interesting. It says, two sisters bound by impossible choices are determined to protect each other no matter the cost. I forgot what this book was about, but it sounded really interesting when I read the little excerpt that they had online when I was buying it. And I've been looking at this book for a while, so I wanted to pick it up. And the next book that I bought was Rot and Ruin by Jonathan May Mayber May da -da 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 Mayberry. Um, yeah, this is a zombie book. Um, I don't know, I've been into watching The Walking Dead lately, and I just kind of wanted to read a book about zombies, so I picked this up, because I haven't read any books about zombies, so I figured this would be pretty interesting. Then the last book that I got in that order was... Warm Bodies by Isaac Marion. Um, I saw this movie in my film class this year, and it was ooh, it was pretty good. So I decided to pick up this book, and I want to read this. It's pretty quick, so we'll see how that goes. Now I bought some books from Books a Million. Um, so the first book that I bought, I went into Books a Million, and I bought um, The Lovely Bones. It was only $3.97, so I decided to pick this up because I saw the movie a while ago, and I want to read the book because books are always better than the movies, and the movie was really creepy. It was really good, though, so I said to read that. And now the next few books I bought online at booksamillion.com. Um, I recently got a membership to Books A Million, so I get free shipping now, and my books are a little bit cheaper. So the first book that I bought was... Looking for Alaska by John Green. I've been hearing a lot about this book and I really want to read it. I love The Fault in Our Stars and I want to read more John Green, so I bought this. Um, the next book that I bought was The Statistical Probability of Love at First Sight. Again, I've been hearing a lot about this book. This book was actually free because they were having some kind of deal where if you bought two teen books, you get one free. So I bought two and I got this one for free. Um, yeah, so I can't wait to read this book either. So basically this is a book about a girl who gets locked, who misses her flight, so she's stuck in an airport and um, she meets this guy and this love story takes place in 24 hours, so this is going to be a really cute book to read. I might have to take this on me with vacation just because I want to read a lot of contemporary books when I'm on vacation. Now the next books that I bought were, I picked up, um... I think I actually got this in a book outlet order, but I got Burned by Sarah Shepard. This is the 12th book in the Pretty Little Liar series. And then the three books that I bought where I got one free at Books A Million were these ones. I bought Crushed, Deadly, and Toxic, which is books number 13, 14, and 15 in the Pretty Little Liar series. So they just look like this. Deadly. And then... Toxic. I still have to read, I read up to book 8, so I have to read a lot of those, but I'm excited that I own the whole series of what is out right now. I know there's another book coming out in December, I forgot what it's called though. But yeah, I'm looking forward to reading those as well. And then the last book I got at Half Price Books, and that was Control. I've heard people talking about this, and it really, it sounded so interesting. It was like about, um, a science lab experiment, and like... There's some accidents, and I don't know, it just sounded really interesting and very, like, sci-fi-y. And I bought this at Half Price Books. It was pretty cheap. I took the sticker off, though, but yeah. 
And now we're going to move on to my unboxing, which is, of course, from Book Outlet. I recently bought a few books from there. I'm pretty sure I know which one's in here, so I'm just going to cut this on open. Ugh. It's a pretty big box. Um, I'm going to see if I actually got this one book I ordered, because when I ordered it, I got my receipt online, it emailed to me, and it said there was zero quantity, and I think it might have sold out before I placed my order, so I'm not sure if it's going to be in here or not, and I really hope they didn't charge me for it. There's a lot of books in here. I think I ordered like nine books. So, um, okay. I'm trying to put these in order. I don't know if I can because I don't know what order these books go in. I ordered a series and I'm not sure that I got was. I bought The Beginning of After by Jennifer Castle. This book was only like $3 on Book Outlet. I just read the um, little excerpt and it sounded interesting. It's a lot bigger than I thought it would be. But, um... So, so. Fun. Okay, so this is a book about like her, um... It follows this girl named Laurel, and it follows after, like, an accident that killed her family. So, um, yeah. She just, it's, like, about how she, like, goes on through life and stuff after her parents' death. So, I don't know, it just sounded kind of interesting, so I bought that. The next book I bought was Before You Go by James Preller. It just looks like this. It's pretty small. Um, this book sounded really creepy. Too. Apparently, it's about this boy... This is about a boy who, like, um, he's working, going through life and stuff, and apparently some kind of, like, unthinkable tragedy happens, so, yeah, this is another one of those kind of, like, just lifey books, I guess, I don't know. So, so. Stop, stop talking, Sims. Okay, this makes no sense. It says that book three and book four in the series are the same book. I'm so confused. These better not be the same books. I'm going to be salt if they are. So I bought the... Yeah, see it says book three. What the... <laughs> book outlet. The Vampire series by Justin Somber. Somber. But, um... The first one I bought was A Mortal War. I believe this is the first book in the series. This is actually a cool cover, though. And then I bought... This book two, this is Tide of Terror. It's a different kind of cover, but, you know, it works. And it says it's book two here, so, yeah. And then I went and I bought book three, which is A Blood Captain. And then I bought this one, Blood Captain, and it says book three. But on my receipt, it says that this was book four. So, I don't know. I, I don't think I have book four. And I have Black Heart and Demons of the Ocean. And these are kind of cool. Like, when you open them up, they have, like... I like these covers. The first book is Demons of the Ocean. So I got the first book. Dead, that's a half book. Book two is definitely Tide of Terror. And book three is Blood Captain. So, book three. Book four is Black Heart. Yay. And then book five... Are you serious? Apparently I don't have book five because I bought the wrong one, so I have book six. Um, yeah, I really need to look at titles because they labeled this as book four and then I'm all off now because book outlet failed. So that is all the books I bought you guys and I hope you guys enjoyed this little haul and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.